Good morning. It is Saturday, January 31st at 8.10. Back at Caitlin's. <coughs> and um, before I went to bed last night, well, I took the pills last night at like 6.50 or so. And then about an hour and a half later or so, like I was laying in my bed, still just kind of, about an hour later, I was just still kind of resting. And um, in my right hand, I felt like something was crawling up it. And so I looked, obviously nothing was there. Then I just kept looking at my hand and it happened again. And just a weird feeling in my hand. And uh, shortly after that, I don't know, it's going to be hard to see right now, but um, a red spot came around here. And, um, but yeah, this morning I could hardly move my right finger. I can move all my other ones. Still kind of tender because, you know, but this is what really hurts right here. And, uh, my left hand really hurts too. Not as bad, but it's very, very sore. And my left arm hurts quite a bit my elbow and my right elbow uh, that's hurting too or my right arm but um mainly right now it's my right hand and my left wrist area it definitely looks like my left leg is getting a little bit better my left heel just hurts a little bit more there's a spot there still maybe one there but the left leg is look like and it's getting a lot better this morning though my right leg near my ankle does hurt a lot more too um looks like a new spot right there is coming but that's definitely gone down like for sure even that has gone down so much um yeah, so, I mean, definitely looks like my legs are getting hopefully a little better. Oh, yeah, and my left ankle, that's gone down tremendously, too, since yesterday, so that's awesome. All right, and actually, I made a mistake in my, uh, in my video yesterday on day four. I said that the Super Bowl was today, Saturday, but, yeah, no. It's Super Bowl Sunday. Super Bowl is tomorrow. I knew that. I must have just lost track of my days, so forgive me. And, um, but yeah, hopefully it's going to be a nice sunny day for the game. Uh, right now, I'm going to try and uh, just get up, call for Caitlin just to make sure I, I don't fall on my face. And um, we'll see how I do throughout the day. And I know sometime today that uh, Caitlin and her mom are going to be finishing up the invitations. I just have to get like just a couple more things and then we're going to send those out. Alright, so I just got back from the bathroom brushing my teeth and stuff. And Caitlin tried helping me get out of bed as a crutch but neither my left or right leg could handle it. And uh, I can't use the walker because I can't put pressure because my hand's in my... My arms hurt, so uh, she lowered me to the ground, and uh, I'm just walking on my knees because my knees are feeling better now. So hopefully, hopefully those don't give out on me. Just gotta rest, and uh, hopefully this medicine will start making things better. Then seems like getting worse. That's what the doctor said, anyways. Is uh, this medication, fluconazole, the antifungal medicine? It's uh, symptoms will get worse before they get better so I don't know exactly what that means but I need to give her a call alright so I am back in Caitlin's bed I'm gonna rest while she works on the uh, like an invitation website thing for like a wedding website <clears throat> I'm not too sure what she's gonna do over there but I am pretty excited about one thing Caitlin picked up this last night <clears throat> something to have her and me remember our uh, childhood and I'm sure this will bring you back to the day too but take a look at this yes amazing I cannot wait till she gets back in here so we could have pretty much a whole package she'll probably have like two so this gum 
is really bad after like two seconds. Oh, on to the next. So, this is the most, probably the, the most pain-free way to brush my teeth. <laughs> because I can't sit down in a normal chair way because my pain just shoots through my legs and I can't stand straight up on my legs and I can't support myself because my hand still hurts. I'm not sure if you can see my hand, but it's a little swollen. Uh, right here. But yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and just brush my teeth, get ready for bed, and then I'll just show you my legs. I decided to stay at Caitlin's house all day, so I've been resting and resting. <laughs> <laughs> I always say morning instead of morning, so I'm trying to pronounce my ings. And um, <clears throat> and yeah, so I'm gonna combine day five and day six together, and um, yeah, so that's it for now. <laughs> All right, so my legs don't look as bad as they were yesterday, but um, they definitely do hurt really bad, probably because it's more. The pain is coming more from my foot, my heel, and my ankles. Um, so yeah, we'll go ahead and take a look at um, this side now. Uh, I wish the lighting was better. Keep on getting a shadow in there. But <laughs> look at that move. Uh, oh. oh, okay. So, but my lungs like hasn't hurt at all to breathe, so that's been pretty good. I don't cough as much anymore, so that's good too. Um, uh, just been drinking a lot of water. I've had a lot more appetite today. Caitlin made some bratwurst. I had two tacos that was made by Caitlin's mom. I just, I've been eating a lot more, drinking a lot. You had a bagel too. Oh, yeah. I had a bagel this morning, so. And a brownie. Oh yeah, and a brownie. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, so I mean, hopefully things are getting better, but I mean, just, it's so off and on. I just have no idea. Um, this will probably be my last take for tonight. And tomorrow's Sunday. The Super Bowl, as I got that wrong yesterday, as I <laughs> mentioned. But, um, <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> but yeah, so we're going to head out. Good morning. It is 8.10, Sunday, February 1st. Um, happy February, by the way. Um, so, last night, before I went to bed, um, I had a uh, small fever of 100.1, which is fine, but at like 4 in the morning I woke up, and, um, uh, I just probably had one of my worst nights since I've been sick, um, and probably the only other comparable times were back around the 14th when I was on prednisone for five days, um, back then I had just the sweats really bad, and, um, but, but today, or last night, or this morning at four, I had both of my shirts were wet, I was shivering, um, 
my left hand it still hurts quite a bit but it hurt a lot more during the night my right hand definitely this one I don't know if you can still see it but it's still a little bit swole there um, that hurts my right wrist hurts my right elbow hurts um, <coughs> my shoulder my back um, it's more of just like my middle areas now hurts really bad I don't know if I mentioned my right wrist hurts I think I did I don't know um, what was I gonna say but yeah um, so I called called Caitlin on the cell phone and she answered she came in here and she helped um, change my shirts for me and um, I was gonna see if she would help me go to the bathroom I tried getting up and I actually was able to get up I walked on my own to the bathroom um, not well but it didn't hurt as bad so I feel like my legs are getting better um, it's just my heels that still kind of hurt uh, but that's it's great that I could walk um, after resting for so long but I just feel like everything's now moving <laughs> to my joints and my back and my oh yeah my neck was hurting really bad it still still kind of hurts in that area um, I feel like I didn't sleep bad um I don't know we'll definitely keep an eye on it but um so I went to the bathroom came back Caitlin put a towel down for me um but yeah other than that um but definitely probably one of my worst nights so far which sucks <laughs> cause it's been like you know three and a half weeks and but it's alright but today's Super Bowl Sunday and um, we do plan on going to Caitlin's aunt's house I told them as long as I'm able to to lay down and watch the game I'm good to go so oh yeah Caitlin's outside right now because uh, she's really excited about all the fog I guess it's super foggy outside um, where it's kind of hard to see just across the street so it's not really um, a normal thing here so um, that she's pretty excited about that taking some pictures so it's kind of funny while Caitlin was outside taking pictures my mom sent me pictures of the weather at her place and um, but yeah I'm gonna go ahead and show you Caitlin's fog picture now and then I'll show you my mom's it's kind of hard to see but to get a better look at it you could go to I'm not sure if you can see it, but it says CaitlinRose.xo. That's her Instagram. And and then my mom's. Uh, here's her backyard. So much snow. I guess that's the snowstorm that they had last night. So crazy. But. <laughs> Caitlin looks at it and she's all upset. She's like, why can't it do that when uh, we were there in Iowa and, or when we were there in December? That's my plan. That was my original plan back um, around the 15th when I proposed to Caitlin. I wanted to uh, go sledding because we've never gone sledding together. And so I was really hoping there'd be some snow and we'd just be able to go play out in the snow and let's that's when it would happen but nope it was rainy and cold <laughs> when I proposed to her but it all worked out and she has the rock on her finger so all right bye <laughs> all right so um, I just took my my weight or I just weighed myself and uh, since I first got sick around the 8th um, of January today's the 1st of February I've lost about 10 pounds, and I know the ones that know me probably could think, how the heck can you lose 10 pounds? Does he even have 10 pounds to lose? But yes, I did lose 10 pounds, and um, 
Um, but yesterday I did have more of an appetite, so hopefully from here on out I'll be able to eat a lot more. My mom uh, sent me some meal replacement drinks yesterday and some sports drinks. So um, I'm going to try and just eat more and drink um, more of those shakes and just try and get some more weight on me. Um, uh, Caitlin did do a 360 t uh, look around my my um, my chest, my back, and my neck. She didn't see any uh, red spots or red rashes, bumps, or anything like that. Um, so that's good. But So yeah, this is probably more of a joint issue that we're dealing with. I still have to finish that one book I first told you about, and I believe in the second video, day two, um, about Dr. Uh, Craig uh, Runbachen. Um, so um, I'm going to continue to read that book and then just do some more research. Then we're going to call the PCP tomorrow, try and get some answers um, about my recovery and about um, the symptoms I should be having, uh, how the fluconazole is going to work. Um, stuff like that but now I guess I'll go ahead and show you my legs um, I am able to walk to the bathroom still and um, go back and forth still on my tippy toes but um, uh, I just can't stand still at all <laughs> it hurts too bad so I just I still have to use a chair to um, rest on my knees and brush my teeth and stuff like that but take a look at my legs now Gosh, it looks so much better. It looks really good. Um, but that's what that's what's hurting right now. It looks so much better though. Yeah, these used to be super bad. Uh, and then the you know, the one on my back of my leg, but that has gone down tremendously, and it just, it's sensitive, and it kind of itches when I go over it. So yeah, I'd say probably an overall good sign on my legs. I'm just kind of worried about my joints now. <sighs> but yeah, on the road to recovery. I'm so thankful for tech... <clears throat> So thankful for technology nowadays. Even on the iPad one my grandpa let me have, um, I'm able to watch my church. Well, yeah, since I can't get up and go, that's that's definitely nice to uh, to still be able to listen to the sermons and and watch the camera crew. I actually used to run the cameras at church, so it's kind of nice to see the whole production side side of things as well. All right, so even though I look I look horrible, I feel okay. But oh my gosh, the weather outside is so nice, and look how beautiful she looks. It's so cute. But yeah, we are. Um, I'm gonna show you. It was super foggy this morning, but here is. 60 headed uh, looking east. Yeah, so um, it's gonna be a, a really nice day for the Super Bowl. Oh, what did you say it was outside? 65. 65 or so right now. And, um, but yeah, we're heading back to my apartment, get cleaned up. And I'll go find me some more slippers. I'll wait in the car while Caitlin's doing that, and then um, head over to her aunt's house for the Super Bowl party. And yeah, so what do you do today for the wedding plans <laughs> with your mom? Oh, <laughs> we uh, licked envelopes all day. No, we sent out <laughs> invitations. <laughs> that was exciting. Yeah, so, so all the invitations yeah. are done. We're gonna send them back tomorrow. Awesome. That's cool. So, oh my gosh, the German Shepherd, you probably can't see it now. But yeah, as far as symptoms go, my hand is still pretty pain, painful, or it's in a lot of pain. And then my left hand still hurts quite a bit. I think my right shoulder is getting a little better, but um, it may still hurt. I haven't really 
push it to its limits at all, so I really can't say anything. I'm able to walk still, just on the tippy toes. So I can't stand in one spot still, so the back of my legs and my ankles still kind of hurt. Um, I have a small headache, but mainly my um, my main issues are coming from my neck. My neck just feels pretty stiff, and um, I actually feel like I'm getting a bump in the back of my neck. But we'll have to take a look at that later and see. But yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and show you some footage of this amazing weather. Alright, now we're gonna show you the 60 looking west. The sun might be kind of blinding, but here it is. So we are to the uh, aunt and uncle's house, and we got my new slippers. Yay! Uh, there's a lot more padding in them, and it feels a lot better. I bought some new socks. Before I left you last, we got cut off because my battery died, and I was telling you um, that I had just gotten my new slippers from Target. Um, now since it's becoming the summer, obviously I don't want something that's super hot, but I just wanted to get something that was very uh, padded for my foot, and this uh, helps so much. They were only $8 from Target, and um, other than that, I picked up some socks that didn't hurt around the, uh, uh, the elastic on the ankle, so uh, these feel so much better. So that's also a plus with what I got tonight it was pretty funny actually right when we got out of the car um, and well I wasn't gonna go into Target obviously because I couldn't walk too well so Caitlin long story short um, we didn't want to have Caitlin buy these shoes and have them not fit so I said I'll go in so as I started to walk just we got past our car this old old people actually started reversing in their car and they actually left one of their you know um, remote cart things that um, that are from the store and so I just hopped on one of those and we started going and um, as we were passing the crosswalk some you know, some car was passing and these teenage kids like started yelling at me it didn't sound like anything nice but whatever I just looked at him smiled and I uh, just kept on going and but let me tell you that thing was nice just uh, just rolling around in Target and uh, was able to just leave it back in the parking lot I just wanted to make sure um, that was the right thing to do so I asked the security guy and so that was fine but um, but yeah other than that um, we are done from Caitlin's aunt's house and as we were leaving uh, her uh, aunt handed me this card it's really cute and it just um, says that I heard you're on the road to recovery and it just had a personal note in it um, just saying that I'm in their prayers and everything and and also it was really nice of them so if you're watching this video thank you and I'll, obviously I'll text you here soon or give you a quick call um, but I really do appreciate it. it means a lot and other than that uh, like I said, I'm going to be uploading day 5 and day 6, so that'd be uh, Saturday and Sundays together, so that's going to be right now. It would be so nice to have one of those, like, newer iPads where you can plug in the SD card and just, like, you know, do iMovie right there and then upload, so I wouldn't have to come back to my place all the time or lug around my iMac, but maybe eventually I'll pick up one of those, but I'll probably be recovered by then. Um, let's see here. Other than, other than that... Hmm, we have tomorrow. I'm going to um, call the doctor, the PCP, and, and set an appointment uh, and ask just some questions that I have about my recovery, about the symptoms that I'm having, just to see if, 
um, you know, things that look like they're heading in the right direction, stuff like that. Just questions I have um, that I need answers to, and then I'm going to make all my appointments for the end of the month, like the, the x-rays, the liver tests, um, and all that. And then also tomorrow, I plan on maybe just doing a little bit of um, statistics or more maybe factual information about Valley Fever from more of the book that I've been reading from Dr. Craig Ronbakken. So uh, that's pretty much what I have planned. Um, so with all that said and done, right now my hand actually does feel a lot better. It's still a little bit swollen right here, um, kind of hurts. And then my left hand, um, it actually almost hurts either just about the same or uh, maybe a little bit more than my my right hand so um, my shoulder doesn't feel like it's doing too bad but the main thing that's been giving me issues tonight is my neck it just it feels like it, it has knots all over it so um, and yeah um, so I don't know I'll show you my legs and uh, see if there's any more bumps tomorrow on my body but other than that Everything uh, should be done, everything should be said, and I'm just going to head out, uh, edit, upload, and we will see you tomorrow. All right, good night.